An unusual and rather costly election is underway right now to fill a congressional seat for less than two months. Yeah, this is the seat vacated by Thaddeus McCotter. Uh, 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonavich is standing by live at uh, Novi in a voting location there. First of all, anybody voting? And second of all, how much could this thing really end up costing us? Well, Stephen, to answer your first question, they had maybe about 40 people come out here in Novi. The second question, this is going to be a huge expense. That's because cities did not plan for this. It's an expensive election. They didn't budget for it, and some of them can't afford it. Empty booths mean low voter turnout for a special election in the 11th district that could be costing taxpayers a lot more than it's worth. There's some cities that are strapped, uh, most cities and townships, and they might have to uh, cut into the police and fire protection to pay for the cost of this election, which is ridiculous. Bill Bullard, the Oakland County Clerk and Register of Deeds, says taxpayers would have made out better if McCotter had not resigned, but had just been paid to sit at home. If he had talked to me, I would have said, just stay home, don't go to work, draw your salary, it'd be cheaper than a special election. The election will cost the district a total of $650,000. There are five Republicans on the ballot. Whoever wins will face off against Belleville Democrat David Curson in November, and they will only serve for six to seven weeks. Officials didn't have time to get the race on the August primary because when McCotter resigned, Primary ballots had already been printed and absentee ballots already mailed. It's ridiculous. It's $650,000 of costs that are caused by the selfish decision of one man, Thaddeus McCotter, a former congressman. We went to McCotter's Livonia home, but no one would answer the door. Three of his staffers are facing charges for putting false signatures on a nominating petition that prevented him from seeking re-election in November. On November 6th, some people will also have to decide who will take charge of the seat in January when the new term begins. Both races will be on the ballot at the same time. The Oakland County Clerk says he's written a letter to the governor and legislators in Congress asking them for a special appropriation come September to try to reimburse local governments for this election.